I'm Marco Canossa from Italian Institute of Technology and European Brain Research Institute. Hi, I'm Laura Cancella from the Italian Institute of Technology. Today, we will talk about our recent work published in several reports entitled Polarized Expression of P75 Specifies Axon During Development and Adult Neurogenesis. Growth cones located at the leading edges of undifferentiated neurites detect and respond to environmental cues, which activate intracellular signaling cascades and cause one neurite to grow longer than the others. Of the chemical cues known to govern neurite outgrowth, neurotrophins are particularly promising candidates for axon specification. Here, we propose that the pan-neurotrophin receptor P75 might be the primary receptor involved in neurotrophin-mediated axonal specification. We observed high P75 immunofluorescence in one and only one neurite already six hours after plating. At the polarity breaking point, the proportion of cells expressing P75 in a single process was increased. Thus, polarized P75 accumulation is a prelude to axonal specification. The identity of an axon is somewhat flexible. Cutting the axon of an already polarized neuron can result in the specification of a new axon at the expense of minor neurites. Since P75 distribution is predictive of axonal specification, we hypothesized that its expression would decrease in a lesion than axon and accumulate in the neurite acquiring a new axonal identity. Accumulation of P75 in the new axon was confirmed 72 hours after absorption. Neurotrophins may provide an external signal orienting axonal specification via P75. We address this possibility by culturing neurons on cover sleeve patterned with BDNF stripes and determining whether axon initiation of neurons was oriented at the stripe border toward neurotrophin. Live cell imaging revealed that after a period of dynamic neurite growth spurts and retractions, one neurite among the other preferentially extended toward the neurotrophin stripes. To determine whether neurotrophin influence on axon initiation requires selective binding to P75, we added an anti-P75 blocking antibody to the culture medium. The antibody abolished the preference of axons for initiation on BDNF stripes. These results provide clear evidence that P75 accumulation fades axonal specification, which in turn is regulated by neurotrophins. If accumulation of P75 in the fated axon predict axonal identity, we will expect that initial asymmetry in P75 distribution is oriented in the fated axon before the polarity breaking point. Indeed, we found that neurites expressing higher level of P75 preferentially extended toward neurotrophin stripe as early as 12 hours after plating. These results provide clear evidence that P75 accumulation fades axonal specification, which in turn is regulated by neurotrophins. Moreover, this data suggests a positive feedback loop between local P75 activation and localized receptor accumulation. We performed live imaging to gain insights into the dynamic processes by which transfection of SH for P75 affects the morphological changes that accompany neurite outgrowth and specification. Observation of isolated cells after plating revealed neurites that extended with similar length in SHP75 transfected neurons as compared to nearby untransfected neurons. Thus, knockdown of P75 preserved general neurite extension but prevented specific axon elongation. So far, polarity was evaluated in primary hippocampal culture. It is possible that in this culture, neurons will activate only a portion of the original polarity programs. Ideally, polarization should be investigated in neurons generated from progenitor cells 
after they last meet up in division in vitro. Cells were transfected with scramble or SH P75 plated to allow axonal differentiation. Sequential images of a progenitor cell transfected with SH show division into two newborn neurons. One of the newborn neurons grow processes of similar length but did not initiate axonal growth compared to a nearby untransfected neuron. We next investigated whether P75 regulates axogenesis of newborn neurons in vivo. To visualize P75 expression in newborn neurons, we injected adult mice with viral vectors expressing GFP that only integrates into actively dividing precursor cells. Following in vivo neurogenesis, GFP positive newborn neurons were analyzed at several days post injection. At 21 days post injection, axons were clearly discernible. By contrast, neurons in which P75 was knocked out or knocked down showed extended multiple small processes characterized by a large tip that ended at short distance from the cell body, as revealed by three-dimensional reconstruction images. Thus, neurons in which P75 was efficiently downregulated showed bipolar shape and dendrite formation, but they lacked the axon. We address the role of P75 during neuronal polarization in the developing brain in vivo. We utilize in neutral troporation to transfect SH P75 and interfere with endogenous P75 expression in ventricular precursor cells and their neuronal progeny. Neurons show the typical bipolar morphology of migrating neurons characterized by one short and thick neurite extending toward the cortical plate, the future apical dendrite, and another thin and long neurite growing in the opposite direction, the future axon. In contrast to controls, neurons in which P75 was knocked out or knocked down resulted in defective axogenesis at both embryonic day 21 and postnatal day 7. Author in this paper are Emanuela Zuccaro, Matteo Bergami, Beatrice Vignoli, which share co-first authorship, Guillaume Bonny, Brian Perchola, and Spartaco Santi. And finally us. Laura Cancella and Marco Canossa.